Hi friends and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to cover a topic that I believe is very important and is widely misunderstood, uh, is the daily scrum. Um, so I'm going to go through uh, what is the daily scrum, I'll go through the definition and then why it's important the daily scrum and I'm going also to explain my attempts to make it more effective. So before we start, if you are new, this is Out of DevOps, a YouTube channel where I talk about the world of software engineering and also touch upon productivity and cloud technologies. If these topics are of interest, please consider subscribing and see you after the intro. Daily Scrum. So let's read the definition to understand what is it first. So from the scrum.org website, the Daily Scrum is a 15 minute event for developers of the Scrum team. To reduce complexity, it is held at the same time and place every working day of the sprint. If the product owner or Scrum master are actively working on items in the sprint backlog, they participate as developers. So if we keep going, the developers can select whatever structure or techniques they want as long as their daily scrum focuses on progress towards the spring goal and produces an actionable plan for the next day of work. Moreover, daily scrum improve communications, identify impediments, promote quick decision making and consequently eliminate the need for other meetings. So this is essentially a productivity meeting. What we want to do is to set the focus of the entire team on what are the spring goals and make sure any impediment that arises during the sprint can be highlighted during these events, these 15 minutes events. The other important thing is that the format can be flexible. So you don't need to be rigid around the three questions that typically are what I did yesterday, what I'm gonna do today and if I have any impediments. This is just a format, but you can, you can adapt and change the format in the best way that suits your team. So the, the other thing to focus on this de definition is um, the part where we say identify impediments and promote quick decision making. So as we say, the actors in this meeting are developers and developers should, be, should feel empowered to make decisions around the work they're doing. So what we want to promote with the daily scrum is that developers feel empowered to take decisions around the technical tasks that they are working on. So that's why we need to break this assumption that I keep seeing where developers believe that the main goal of the daily scrum is a status update. So that's not the goal of the daily scrum. So please forget about status update and the daily scrum is not a way to evaluate the performance or the productivity of each individual developer. So let me go through the problem of the daily scrum because this is mainly considered a status update. What happens is that as soon a developer uh, completes his update, they switch off so they don't pay attention to anything else. When this happens, the daily scrum becomes a waste of time because there is no collaboration happening in that meeting and there is uh, no one is paying attention to what anyone else is, is saying. So how can we make sure developers stay engaged and pay attention during the daily scrum? There are a couple of techniques I tried during the years. So one of them is the random selection of the next person that is gonna speak. Essentially, instead of following a predefined sequence with all the names and everyone knows exactly when it's gonna be his turn, uh, what we do, we make everyone else elect the next one. So in this way, everyone needs to pay attention at least to, to see if, if it's their turn and also they need to pay attention because they need to make sure they don't call someone that has already spoken. This is one thing. Another thing is to be visual, be visual as much as possible. So one of the most important thing I, I believe in the, in the daily scrum is to use a physical board. The, the virtual boards like Jira or any other tool that you use um, are useful, but, but most of the time they are not very effective, especially because they may be slow, so you may have um, a slow response time from Jira or it may take time to open all the tickets, write down the notes. So in my opinion, the best thing is to have a physical board where you can move tickets, where you can discuss. There are two problems with the physical board, especially nowadays where we are all working remotely and this seems to be the direction for the future. 
So um, using a physical board is not always possible. When it's not possible, uh, moving to Jira, you add more complexity on top of that. So one thing I'm experimenting with lately is to have a markdown file that I store in uh, Git repo. So in this markdown file uh, is a file per sprint. So every sprint you have um, a section for each day in this file. On top of the file, you have the spring goal, what are the goals and the, um, and also the work streams because uh, a team can work on multiple work streams, for example. So I create labels and uh, I also create um, statuses. So using, uh, using emojis, you can have um, each of them indicating if it's progressing, if it's impeded, if it's blocked and if it's done. So what I do, I share my screen and I collect the notes together with the, with the team. I put down all the notes and then I raise a pull request so that can be approved and merged by the team. It's still not perfect because it's hard to have the random selection, but I really like the use of emojis because you, when you look at the file, you can immediately see if uh, this is a bad sprint or yesterday was a bad day and uh, what are the impediments and you can focus immediately on uh, how to solve them. So to conclude, the daily scrum is not a status update. It's a way to eliminate impediments and to eliminate the need of extra meetings during the day. So make a good use of it. Uh, I gave you the two things I'm experimenting with to keep the team focused. Let me know what you think, how you run your daily scrum and what are the techniques you apply to keep your team focused down in the comment. I am very curious to see how others are running daily scrum, what are the problems that they're facing and what are the techniques they are putting in place to solve these problems. With this, I conclude this video, hoping it was useful and interesting. If it was, please consider subscribing by clicking on the subscribe button. Don't forget the bell to receive notification for every new video I release. And thank you for watching and see you in next video. Bye.